Hello friends, you are watching episode number 7 of our Let's Play Production Line series. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're here watching me play some video games today. Production Line is an early alpha uh, early alpha uh, game from Positech Studios. Uh, actually, it's just made by one guy named Cliff. He's very responsive and uh, friendly on the forums. Uh, I actually told him all about the problems we were having in our last episode with the weird yo-yoing car sales and he said don't worry about it uh, partly because of the uh, older uh, because we started this game on alpha 5 um, or alpha 1.06 or 1.0 whatever whatever the point is we started it on an older version of the game um, and uh, that it's not really an issue if you start a new factory and not too badly an issue even with our old factory so and he's right um, I, I didn't notice, but I did take a look at our money from last time, and uh, we have three. We made three million dollars in profit uh, over the last uh, over the last episode. So obviously, we're not doing too badly. Um, you can see here very weird spikes up and down in our profitability. I'm guessing that that is the car sales uh, uh, acting so strangely. I I really don't know. Uh, but how about I just leave it like it is, and we will run it uh, with the existing, um, the existing uh, uh, flow of cars, and instead concentrate on making our um, the uh, internal production that we were going to do. Now, one thing that we're looking at here is we're going to start making all of the tire component parts, which means. We're going to need to set up like a factory for the tire components. I guess we don't really need to. We can set it up um, over here and not worry about uh, moving all this stuff out of the way. I was thinking we would need to move that stuff out of the way uh, so we could set the factory up in here. But I don't think that's really going to be necessary. What kind of manufacturing are we going to get into here? So we've got our tire stuff. We're already we're already working on getting those things. Okay, so we'll have uh, a little bit of engine manufacturing that we're going to want to shoehorn in there. And then like accessories manufacturing, that's going to be about it. huh? So the engine manufacturing, here's our engine stuff down here. I guess we could put that in here, in which case we would need to move this belt maybe moved around or honestly we could put it all up here and we could have this be our input put our engine manufacturing up in there and that'll be fine um, I think one thing we are going to want to do is move all this painting uh, rent this space out move all the painting up into there because I think that I think that we have well right now we're doing pretty good on our like there's no painting bottleneck I thought we had a slight painting bottleneck we will if we ever try to increase our uh, cars even further than we're doing them right now. So right now, fit windows is our uh, is our uh, bottleneck over here, huh? It does take a while for those resources to get over there. Do we have any additional resource slots? We do. So we could start bringing in. As a matter of fact, I think we'll do that. Like uh, fit wing mirrors uses what two mirrors? I don't know, you know, we're probably going to start manufacturing all these things ourselves anyway. So I, I don't think I'm going to worry about bringing in additional, um, additional, uh, uh, hooking up additional slots to get those in there. Let's get all of our tire manufacturing slots done and then we'll set up a tire manufacturing uh, section over, over in the appropriate area there. Here we are pushing through slightly more than um, than we're able to able to push out, which is a little surprising. Although it it's kind of backing up at this point, anyways, it's staying backed up all the way through. Wow, wow, we wow, 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 all the way through fit windows, huh? So if we want to increase our flow, we're going to have to double up on a bunch of things back along the way. But you know what? There's not really any need to increase our flow at this moment. Um, we're doing doing well. We're making lots and lots of money. Still don't get those. Uh, looks like a mountain range, kind of a sloppy mountain range, like a fourth grader's mountain range. 
Hmm. This is not so meaningful, to be honest. Did I? I knew I skipped. I skipped draft four. Our model four got skipped out somehow. But we had two model eights, so uh, you know, uh, it all balanced out in the end. Um, what are our, our expenses? So it's too bad we can't uh, sort those. Looks like component purchase, which makes sense that that would be our greatest expense. And rent is our second greatest, and then wages. Um, still no marketing or repairs or any of those things available. Capital investment, not. A, I guess that would be maybe renting out space or something. Hmm. Now, oh, cool, interesting. So the prices go up and down for these things. It's kind of weird. All right, so we've got all of our tire stuff done then. Um, how about we, uh, let's look at doing the engine uh, assembly pieces next. So we'll do those. Let's, uh, let's slow our speed down and uh, start making those tires up here, or the tire parts anyway. Um, that would be, Go to fit, fit wheel assembly, fit wheels. So make wheel, make tire. Wow, nine seconds to make. Now is that to make one tire? And we, do we have the tire stuff duplicated? I don't think we do. I think we just have them through there singly. All right. So if it's nine seconds to make one tire, and we need four tires every four, so we would need like nine of them to make one tire a second to keep up with the demand. Let's, uh, hmm. not even sure which is going to be which with the uh, with the with the thing here. If I put it like that, I should be able to uh, be more specific with what goes where. So, uh, looks like that's probably the input. Yep. And then this would be the output. Great, okay. So, I'm going to need nine of those, huh? Uh, make tire, so that's two. Oh boy, that's not going to be easy to fit in there. Can I, it's not, I don't want to get too carried away here because we're going to run into some trouble. All right, let's try to make this a little smarter. We're going to, we're going to move you over there. And then all the way down to there, I guess. And we'll delete all of these. I don't really want to delete the goods. I don't know if it. I don't think it really matters, but also, you know, we've got $7 million. <laughs> Am I really that concerned? Uh, okay, so we are going to make a tire, and when we made a tire, if we do this, that'll put the, the belt on that spot, but unfortunately it will connect up the two. So if I do this, it will not connect, right? That goes in. Good, and then that one goes out. So that's, but how, how am I gonna fit nine in there without crossing the streams? Fit tire, make tire one, two, three, four. This is exciting, isn't it? Watching me count. Five, but then we have, so I'm going to need to lay the conveyor. Oh, I already have it along that route. Okay, good. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And if we have it go out like that, I guess I should make sure that it's only making one at a time, too, instead of uh, I might be getting ahead of myself. It could be that it's making four tires at a time. I don't think so. It definitely looks like it's only making one at a time. All right, so then they're going to go out like this, and I'm going to uh, how would I do 
So if I do make tire and I rotate them like that, they're gonna... Okay, I think that'll work. Do I have them on the right slot? Resource conveyor. You're gonna come up and you're gonna go down like that. Great, okay, so that'll, that'll send them out, right? Doesn't seem to be bringing the rubber in there, but maybe it's, yeah, it's just got a, a long delay to get the rubber in there because we just have so many, so many resources. Also, that's going to be blocking off this import, import slot. Hmm. Um, let's, uh, shit, how many do we have? Five, so I need one, two. Okay, so now we've got that, and then we'll do this one up there like that, which is very nice. Is there a way that I can I can free up this import slot? So resource importer, that would already connect up to that one. I can't really go, I bet you if I do this, it'll work. Uh, if we go resource conveyor and we go like that, no, that's not gonna. That's not gonna keep them separate. And I won't be able to keep them separate down here either. Because I really want to use this importer for whatever I'm gonna put over here. I guess if I move these all down one and erased that one, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get the uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get those in there though. Uh, so if I go one, two, am I doing those right? Looks like I am. Three, four. Okay, and this is the import conveyor, and that's the export conveyor and I do that and um, then I go from here down to here there you go you all connect up over there and then I'll drag you like that and like that and like that and like that good okay that connects you up and so now we do resource importer right there and you're gonna go like that Okay, and then we do make, ah, we're going to be ready for the next one by the time we get done with this one. The video will be over by the time I even get this stupid thing set up. Okay, there you go. Alright, um, close you down. So, make tire, make wheel. Now, this one's a lot easier. We need four wheels, every. F so we need a wheel a second. So if we do two of these, we'll be making two wheels. So that's easy. Uh, I don't quite understand where the stockpiles are, but it looks like import, export. Okay, that's good. Um, so we will go import, export. Maybe I had it in the right spot after all. All right, that's make wheel, make wheel, make wheel, and then make break six seconds. So we're gonna need six of those. And it looks like those are going to be very difficult to keep separated. But I think I know how to do it. Okay, so we're going to need six of these, though. Am I going to be able to fit six in here? If I go, if I go like that, it's going to be really tough to keep them separated, though. If I go like that, I will be able to keep them separated, which will still be tough. But, okay. So, one. And that's a break. Two. Three. Hmm. Four. I guess we're going to have to. No. Nope. Conveyor. There you go. Great. We'll just have to go like this. And um, we will run you up like that. There we go. And we'll cut you out. 
I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put all the engine stuff that we need to do, but we'll get this taken care of first. Make break. All right, and resource conveyor is going to go along this line. And uh, that's good because those are the imports for that one. Great, like that. And then the exports will go like this. Okay, and so you go in there, you go in there, you, you, there, there, and you go out, out, out. All right, and then we run this outbound line there like that. And then we need to connect it up over here, which is going to be easy. Great. So now I can disconnect that one right there. And I can connect it up right there. And then we should start using all of our manufactured resources like that. And I can put a stockpile down here, I think. Um, now, I'm not sure how I'm going to get all the engine stuff to go through this Byzantine structure that I've got set up, though. Uh, that's going to be a little tricky. So, we'll do resource... Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm still going to try to... Oh, I... did I? Still try to wrap up the rest of the engine stuff, just to... Just for completion purposes, resource conveyor. We'll connect you like that, and then we'll just make a little loop-de-loo there. Very good. Maybe connect you up there and you over there. Cool. All right, and then we'll set you up to have, you do 36, right? So 12 of each. Brake, tire, wheel. 12, 12, there we go, cool. All right. And it seems like it can move quite a bit of stuff when you have it going in the way that we have it going. Uh, very neat, no export room. Yep, well that's, uh, that's fine because, you know, it doesn't really need it. Uh, but I th thought we needed that many just to keep the, uh, uh, just to maintain our flow. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do to clear clear this stuff out, I'll, I'll clear out our stock and we'll see what happens when I do that. Alright, so engine parts. See, that's the problem now is I don't have anywhere to make all these engine parts because they're going to require a whole bunch of space. Like all this manufacturing took a ton of space. Um, I hope these, uh, these guys that are saying no export room, they really should start burning. It looks like they are. They're slowly working their way up and burning through the, burning through it. But they're not. I don't know. Let's not. Uh, let's not panic. Let's actually turn the speed up a little bit and see see how it goes. So are these guys gonna manufacture? manufacture more stuff so they have insufficient resources these are not manufacturing any resources even though they have weird all right so they need to be connected to the import even though they have everything that they need to build the items and they won't build the items without being connected to the import. They wouldn't fill up our supply stockpile even though we had all the connections set up for them to build the supply stockpile. Um, good, good to know, I guess. Is that the word I'm looking for? Is good the word I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, so, close. Oh, I'm not. done with research to be honest. So if I move the paint up here, 
or even, you know what, I could move the paint over to here. How about let's worry about the stuff where we have enough room right now, and then we'll rearrange things when we get to the point where we don't have enough room. Either way, I'm pretty excited about all this in-house manufacturing that we're doing. Uh, are we able to keep up with our uh, wheel and tire demand? It definitely looks like we are. Even though we're getting a lot of a lot of alerts that I, you know, I don't quite get, but um, everything is uh, everything is keeping up with the demand. So I bet you if I just deleted like one each of the stations that would uh, we could clear out all the surplus that we've got going on but I don't really want to do that see over here too because we have this surplus hmm. I really want to get this stuff flowing through a little faster all right let's look at window um, Manufacturing because I believe Windows right now are are our uh, slowdown. What do we got? Two seconds to make a window, and Windows we need how many? Five Windows? Wow! Five Windows every four seconds. So that would be one window every point eight seconds. And if we need one window every 0.8 seconds, and it's making one every two seconds, right? Yeah, it's under fit body, right? Fit doors, ah, fit windows, make window. One every two seconds. And we need one every 0.8 seconds. So that means we need two, two of these to almost keep up. So really going to need three of these, which is not, that's not a problem, make, make three of these. Um, I guess we could keep it near where they belong, though. So, again, I'm not sure which is which on the, um, on the uh, stockpiles here. If we zoom in, can we get a better idea? Doesn't look like it. Let's just take a look at it. All right, import, out port. So, flip it. There we go. One. There, go like that. One, two, three, and then over here. One, two, three. All right. Oh, too far. And then we'll connect you up like that. There. Cool. Just, just work our way down the entire list. All right. Yeah. No export room. I get it it still wants to import windows from the import thing for some reason. Um, and then uh, wing mirrors. Can I make wing mirrors? doesn't look like I can make my own wing mirrors, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not going to be able to improve that thing. But what I could do is uh, run the wing mirrors from over here instead. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't we do it that way? And we'll just run them along this belt. So we're gonna put them on the line with the paint, but I, th I think that there's enough. Uh, I think there's enough room to where we can do that. There we go. So now we should be making all of our windows in house. That one's the, the windows thing over there is full. Uh, although it doesn't seem to want to. Uh, doesn't seem to want to complete that car, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's because I disconnected the. Disconnected the, uh, uh, or does it need to? Should it needs to import servos too? Well, I guess we can handle that by connecting that. Yeah, it gets the servos in pretty quickly, but I don't want it bringing in uh, windows from that direction. Doesn't look like it is. Alright, it looks like we're staying on top of it, so that's good. Cool. 
All right. Well, lots of uh, lots of stuff that we're learning here. Um, uh, we're going to be able to make door panels as well, aren't we? We'll I'll worry about that. 6.4 seconds. Oh my gosh. And this will take what? Four door panels. Uh, four door panels every four. So one per second. So we're going to need to do six of those make door panel uh, things in the next episode. Uh, but this is pretty fun making all of our components ourselves. We're we're self uh, self sufficient. Oh, why are you bringing in a window? Don't bring a window in. No, 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 no. We make plenty of windows over here. Look at all these windows we have in our stockpile. Why would you possibly bring them in? Um, supply stockpile. Let's put a stockpile here. Let's say that's good. And then uh, we're just going to fill that up with windows, and maybe that'll get them even faster over to uh, to where they go. Uh, we'll just like that. As a matter of fact, let's do 30, and then we're going to add item, and we're going to put a servo in there as well. It is a servo, isn't it, that we that we use for the uh, second piece on here? Servo, great. Okay. So we'll throw some servos in there too, and hopefully it will uh, uh, that will keep. Uh, keep that going. All right. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always want to hear from you guys. I don't know why it brought a block of rubber over there. Why is it bringing blocks of rubber into my window thing? <laughs> Doesn't make. I think it's giving the wrong graphic for a servo, probably. Um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, let me know. Leave a comment. I want to hear from you. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.